Hello everyone and welcome to the 2016 East Peoria Festival of Lights Parade. Stay with us for the next 30 minutes or so as we bring you the beauty and wonder of this year's parade and we will be sure to fill you in on all the activities and attractions available during this month-long celebration. Matt, this is the 33rd year for this holiday tradition right here in central Illinois. We'll be seeing a lot of returning floats and there is even a new float this year. There is a new float and you won't want to miss that. One of the great things about this parade is that everyone seems to have their favorite. From Batman to Star Wars to festival royalty, the parade has seemingly something for everyone. It does and all of those lights and floats are made possible by many dedicated volunteers, many of which have been involved with the parade since its inception. And those volunteers work for months to build new floats, repair the existing ones. It's hard work. The results are spectacular. And the volunteers don't just construct the floats, they also pilot them down the parade route with the help of dedicated parade walkers who guide them through the streets of East And Peoria. it all comes together with fantastic results. It's time to sit back, relax, and enjoy the parade because the parade is about to begin. Enjoy! Learn more about the Festival of Lights and its events by visiting the festival website at felipe.org, the City of East Peoria's Facebook page, or pick up a copy of the East Peoria Chamber of Commerce's Festival Guide. I hope you're ready. Here comes a million sparkles of excitement, the annual Parade of Lights. And leading off tonight's parade are two of our city's law enforcement motorcycles driven by East Peoria Police Department Officer Scott Craig, along with Detective Ryan Crawford. There you see them. Our law enforcement officers are out throughout the route tonight with everyone's safety in mind. And I'm, I'm sure glad they're wearing helmets because they're doing all those fancy maneuvers. In the dark. Flawless. You can hear what's coming next, too. Yes, you can. Right behind the officers is the East Peoria Fire Department's ladder truck. One last figure eight here. And they're moving. There we go. All right. This ladder truck is made of steel, but not the pencil steel of the Parade of Lights floats. Our city's ladder truck, driven tonight by Deputy Fire Chief John Knapp, weighs 56,540 pounds and features a ladder that extends to 75 feet high. It is part of public safety, and we are so glad to have them. Time to show some respect now for our nation's flag, proudly displayed tonight by the color guard from the East Peoria VFW Post 2078. Please remember all the brave men and women who are currently serving or have served our country in the military at the time of the year where they are often separated from family and loved ones. We do appreciate it. And here's our own live toy soldier, Felipe, making his annual march along the parade route. Our soldier is portrayed this year by Brock Crippen, a student of East Peoria Community High School. Felipe actually stands for Festival of Lights East Peoria, Illinois, hence F-O-L-E-P-I. Continuing our patriotic start to the parade, great symbolism in the American flag. This one illuminated with 2,000 lights, 13 stripes, of course, representing the original 13 colonies, the field of blue, representing the freedom to expand and explore the world, and the stars represent our current states and the hope that our nation shows to the world. The flag float is being pulled and towed by the Fond du Lac Park Police Chief Mike Johnson in the Park District Police's Humvee. And in further salute, Matt, to those serving or who have served in the armed forces, the Festival of Lights proudly displays the lighted emblems of each branch of the United States military, including the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, and the Coast Guard. And a fitting place for our armed services at the beginning of this parade, this time of the year, a time of thankfulness and family and getting together. Taking Absolutely. time to remember. You see the details on some of these floats on those emblems. and They are gorgeous. This is the streetcar trolley with 14,000 lights. It's got all kinds of it. It's like celebrities on there tonight. Transporting for part of it, East Peoria City Council. Riding tonight are Mayor David Mingus, 
and the city commissioners John Call and Tim Jeffers. There's Commissioner Jeffers right there and his family. Special guest on the trolley in the crown that we saw just a moment ago is Miss Illinois 2016, Jaron Franklin, who is traveling the state promoting her platform of character counts. That's a wonderful, wonderful message. And here's the return of the WEEK WHOI Holiday Living Room Float, which debuted in the 2015 parade. This colorful living room is 12 feet wide, 14 feet tall, and illuminated with 2,364 lights to be exact. To be precise and exact. <laughs> and here comes the steam train, one of the most popular floats. It's the tallest and longest float in the parade. Again, the detail of all these cars assembled for this train. The total float length is 160 feet. It is 15 feet tall, wow. 65,000 lights. It has five sections. That would be the coal car coming after that steam engine. Large Christmas tree. Flat that, car there. That is a huge Christmas tree. That would need a large star as well and a fairly tall cathedral ceiling. <laughs> Passenger car is next with that EP and W Railroad on the side. Again, that attention to detail that we will see throughout tonight. Those Christmas festive green and red colors. And then, of course, the caboose. What's a train without a caboose? Need the caboose. And you see the motion even on the lights on the bottom there. It is absolutely stunning. And tonight marks the 29th appearance of the EP Noel Riverboat Float in this parade. In the early years of the parade, floats were built of wood and paper mache and illuminated with spotlights and holiday lights. The EP Noel debuted in the third parade as the first float constructed from pencil steel. There it is, pencil steel. Pencil steel and, and taking its shape from lights. The EP Noel is 56 feet long, 14 feet wide, and 14 feet tall. And Matt, it is illuminated with 14,000 lights. And I absolutely love the way the paddle wheel looks like it's really paddling. And the different, the hearts and the clubs and everything, the diamonds back there. Here's Terry the tractor. Love the smiling front end of that. Terry the tractor is the hero in the Terry the tractor books, which are books for kids three through 10. Terry and his friends encounter real life jobs and problems and they solve them through hard work and new skills. And Terry is illuminated by 5,000 lights as you see him wobbling through and zipping down the parade route. He's a super cute and happy He is another float. one the kids really perk up when that one comes. Ah, and this one's a, gonna be a new favorite. I know it, it's a new float. It's making its debut, the colorful blimp. The blimp is also known as Virgil's Dirigible and named for festival volunteer Virgil Hawk. This is the second consecutive year a new float has joined the parade lineup. We're always excited to have new floats. This colorful Dirigible is 28 feet long and illuminated with 20,000 lights. That's crazy, Brian. That's awesome. The guitar, electric guitar, is one like no other, whether you like you know, anything out there, rock, country, jazz. It's rocking and rolling with all the musical notes that are floating above it. The Festival of Lights electric guitar is covered with 2,000 moving, zipping, dashing lights. It's 15 feet long and 11 feet tall. It's a fun float. Yeah, it's, it's up there in my favorites. I love the purple. It's not, yeah. I don't have a lot of purple floats. Ah, imagine going off-roading in this truck. The monster truck is a favorite for the rough and tumble in everyone. The dimensions of a toy truck were scaled up to create this float which measures 18 feet long, 11 feet wide, and 11 feet tall. It is covered with 10,000 sparkling lights. They are sparkling and moving. This is the most energetic float we have tonight. Festival of Lights crowd favorite. This bunny keeps going and going along the route. He may even stop and spin around. He does, I think, a lot actually spin around. From the bottom of his toes to the top of his ears, he is 14 feet tall and is illuminated with 7,000 would you call that like a hot pink or an ambery, orangey? I'm going with pink. I like pink too. And you know what? It could be a chilly ride tonight on that chopper. 
The Festival of Lights motorcycle features red, clear, amber, green, and blue lights and animated lights to make the tires appear to move. The motorcycle is lit with 15,000 lights and is 19 feet long, 6 feet wide, and 10 feet tall. Now coming into view, another uh, kid favorite and adult favorite, Dinosaur, which is brightening up the night thanks to 35,000 lights that illuminate this float. The Festival of Lights Brontosaurus is a float that is an impressive sight, largely because it's 44 feet long, 12 feet wide, 14 feet tall. Love the purplish pink palm trees. Those are my favorite. And again, the, the, got the glowing lights, the red in the mouth. But the brontosaurus is a nice dinosaur. He's a friendly dinosaur. Absolutely. A little out of his element today, but he's going to hold his doing own. Doing his best. He's got the palm trees there to keep him. Right on. The Festival of Lights has quite an impressive collection of vehicles, including this Duesenberg. This is a replica of the luxury automobile made in Auburn, Indiana, from 1913 until 1937. Our Duesenberg is 31 feet long, 8 feet 10 inches tall, and is illuminated with 13,000 lights. Our Duesenberg is a bit larger than the original, but it's got all the moving parts, and it's quite the showy classic car. Also a great band name, the, Illuminated the, Duesenberg. Illuminated Duesenberg. Man, I wish I could sing or play an instrument. That would be my band name. But I just love classic cars, and, and this is one of many that we have to show you. And when this car goes by, the license plate actually has the year on the car. I thought she blows. She was a 1934. Steady as she goes here with the USS East Peoria as she flies into the city on its mission to brighten everyone's holiday. This starship is 14 feet tall. It's 57 feet long, nearly 22 feet wide, and used light as 48,000 lights. This is here every year wow. and still awesome every time it comes by. I think they add a little more pizzazz, if we could use that word, to this as you see the motion on the different parts of this. It is also one of the most complex floats that they've ever created from an engineering standpoint. A lot of moving parts, literally. A lot of pencil steel? A lot of pencil steel. There it is. It's our favorite word, phrase, words. That is a fabulous float. And uh, I keep saying it's, you know, each one is my favorite. The ones with the moving parts are definitely up there for me. Just adds a little of that creativity and some realistic parts to this. I love the tail. We're going to see that a little bit of that. Wine. Oh, another one of my favorites, Puff. Here comes Puff, the Festival of Lights Dragon. He lives by the Illinois River rather than by the sea and blows billows of smoke from his nose as he makes his way along the parade route. Illuminating Puff are 17,000 lights. Puff is a pretty large dragon at 35 feet long. He is 13 feet tall and over 12 feet feet wide and I think I, my favorite part is his tongue sticking out. And I like the wings, the movement on the oh. wings. Yes, and oh, There's Baby Puff. Hot on the Aww. wings of Puff is the adorable Baby Puff. The Little Dragon is another crowd favorite. 8,000 lights on here. So he's 9 feet tall, 15 feet long. Baby Puff's wings are working as hard as they can to keep up with the dad Puff and the pace of the parade. They are working hard. Yeah, and where else in e but in East Peoria can you see a Triceratops roaming along Washington Street at night? The Triceratops float is an annual fixture in the Parade of Lights. The Festival of Lights Triceratops has 25,000 dazzling lights. He's 14 feet tall and 48 feet long. That's a big Triceratops. That is a large dinosaur as well. I love his glowing eyes. He looks like a force to be reckoned with. Still friendly, though. And the dinosaur is followed by another holiday fixture, the 2016 Festival of Lights Queen and her court. And they are riding in this rather large 1957 Chevy convertible. See the year right there. It's very clearly labeled. It's 27 feet long, 9 feet wide. It's covered with 14,000 lights. And the 2016 Festival of Lights Queen is Nicole Moore, who is 18, daughter of Patty Moore. Her attendants are first runner-up Erica Whitaker, also 18, 
daughter of Keith and Lori Whitaker, and the second runner-up, Kayla King, 17, and the daughter of Melissa King. It's a sure sign of the holidays when a toy train circles under a Christmas tree or in the center of a shopping mall. But the Festival of Lights has its very own toy train, although it doesn't seem very small at 60 feet, 65 feet long. This train has four cars. We're looking here at the locomotive, and you can hear the bell. There's someone in there. We have to have an engineer in our train. And then right behind that is the coal car. I love the attention to detail, the moving wheels. There's a freight car behind the coal car. And of course, a caboose. And we'll see that caboose here any second. All illuminated with a total of 17,000 lights. This train would not fit under most Agreed. families' Christmas trees. I agree with that 100%. You're going to have to have a big house. Little ducklings are hurrying to keep up with their mama duck as the duck and ducklings float glides along the parade route. 19,500 lights of white and blue and amber. Another crowd favorite is 62 feet long. As it waddles down and shakes itself down the streets of East Peoria tonight. You can hear the crowd getting fired up. I know. I thought maybe that was the float. But these little guys are so cute. Here's one of the festival spaceships. The Starfighter is flying along the parade route. This spectacular float stands 12 feet tall, is 45 feet long, and wait for it, it has 18,000 lights helping to power the Starfighter are four rocket boosters at the back to help propel it along Washington Street. I thought you were gonna say pencil steel there. Well, it, it is made of pencil steel. I love one of my favorite parts of this is up here at the green, where I, I don't know that a spaceship has a windshield, but that's kind of the area that I'm talking about. Well, I've the, never been in a shimmer. I've never been in um, a, a Starfighter, so and you can it see could the, be. It could be. And the, I love the end of this. Even when you go through it up the hill, you see these yeah. beautiful flashing boosters. And that's followed by another festival spaceship, the TIE Fighter. It's on the parade route, making sure everything goes smoothly in East Peoria tonight. The spacecraft has the speed to outrun any enemy warship. It's measuring 14 feet long, 12 feet wide. It's about 12 and a half feet tall. The TIE Fighter is illuminated with 6,000. 500 bulbs and another example of adding things every year with that motion coming out of the front of it the color throughout i imagine those those red lights coming out the front make a sound that goes choo -choo, choo -choo. i think that's exactly the noise maybe they should add that so pretty Hey, this takes whale watching to a whole new level. Who knew? You could see a whale in East Peoria. Well, you can at the Festival of Lights. Covered in 15,000 mostly blue LED lights, the Festival of Lights whale is 25 feet long and almost 14 feet tall. And I love even how they have the detail of the red inside of the mouth like a real whale. You really see the, the pop that these LED lights provides these, these floats. You know, they're so much brighter and clearer. Right, and high. they're more energy efficient. They are more energy right? efficient. They don't have to be on since Halloween either like they used to be. <laughs> I got the baby again, Baby Shamu. Aww. Festival Lights Parade Route. Playful little baby whale looking for a place to stay this holiday season. Another crowd pleaser with 4,000 blue lights. 14 feet long. And there you see is our floats continue to just light up the streets of East Peoria. That is just a great shot of just the festivity and the lights and the brightness that this parade offers to people far and wide. An astronaut is making his spacewalk from the Space Shuttle Discovery float. This float features four cargo doors that open up 
to reveal an astronaut doing a spacewalk toward another planet. This shuttle float is illuminated with more than 20,500 lights. The Discovery shuttle is 38 feet long and almost 14 feet tall. And you can tell that they've added on to this. They have. It's got the shimmery windshield. I know there's like an engineering term that's better <laughs> than that, but it's got the shimmering green luminescent windshield again. That's spectacular. And that's just an example of how they, they improve on floats that we've had for a long time. Ooh, and the swirly things at the back, another, you know, engineering term, swirly things. Swirly things are so neat. And it makes it look like it's going really fast in outer space. And bouncing down. Bouncing not very far. This just in, Roxy. The Batmobile <laughs> has lost a wheel. And <laughs> there's no Joker, but uh, the uh, Chinese dragon waits for no one. The Chinese dragon is weaving back and forth along the parade route, and he... Uh, Overtook the Batmobile. Watch as he changes color from green to red. Oh, and then there's a smoking snout and those sharp teeth. But he's scary, but he's just showing off. He's 95 feet long and more than 21,000 lights. And he's in a hurry to get somewhere tonight. He is zipping right down the streets. And he wiggles and meanders down the street. And this is one you can hear like the crowd say, wait, is that changing color? Yes, yes it, it is. is. It's very subtle. And again, the great detail with the tongue and the horns at the top and the wings. Here come the Clydesdales, one of the festival's most popular floats inspired by the famous Anheuser-Busch Clydesdales. Each of these horses are eight feet standing tall, three feet wide and 11 feet long. Those are large horses. Each horse is lit with 400 lights of its own. The horses are pulling a replica of a Studebaker wagon, making this float 70 feet long, 12 feet wide, 50,000 total lights. And I think those horses are almost exact scale of, I mean, they are. of Clydesdales. They are such huge horses. But these horses don't need to have anybody clean up after them on no, the parade. No, that makes it a lot faster yeah. moving parade route. And this just in, by the way, AAA has been notified that the Babelbill has broken down. And we understand that they are on the way, on the way. Oh, thank goodness. I'd hate for Batman to get too cold. Stranded. What would crime happen with <laughs> the crime tonight? The Festival of Lights hook and ladder fire truck float is scaled to the exact measurements of a real tiller fire truck. What is a tiller truck, you ask? It's the type of truck that has a person who sits in the back to help steer it. And this truck stands more than 11 feet tall. It is 65 feet long and has 27,500 LED lights. And I'm so glad you explained that because I was thinking, what, pray tell, is a tiller truck? So thank you for the explanation. You learn something new every day. You do learn something new every day. And it's just who we've been waiting for all well, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas to you as well. Santa coming to East Peoria direct from the North Pole. To wish everyone a Merry Christmas. He is a, in a reindeer pulled sleigh, illuminated by 8,000 lights. Great shot right there of Mr. Claus. Should I tell him you've been a good boy this year, Matt? We can report that in the affirmative. How about right. yourself? Yeah, yeah, if you would put in a good word for I me, will. that'd be nice. Thank you. I try my best. Well, we sure hope that you have enjoyed all your favorite floats. Hard to believe it, it goes by so quickly. The 32nd Annual Festival of Lights Parade. On behalf of the Festival of Lights Commission, the city of East Peoria and its citizens, thank you for making this a part of your holiday celebration this evening. It is so hard to believe that there have been 32 of these parades coming down the streets of East Peoria from the paper mache days and families on floats it's just remarkable the changes and what has happened to the Festival of Lights Parade over the years. And it's amazing that people come from far and wide to enjoy the different displays and certainly the parade. They can't believe this is all volunteer. I and we've mentioned that earlier, but every single light is put on by hand. And it's remarkable the changes and how the progression has gone with this parade. And it's grown from this annual Festival of Lights Parade. So uh, while the parade is over, there are still many activities throughout East Peoria to enjoy this holiday season. Yes, we have events the entire month of December. And some of the events that have already taken place include... The Festival of Lights Queen Pageant. The annual Felipe River Trail Classic. 
the East Peoria Historical Society's Holiday Traditions. Felipe's Gifts Galore Shop and Stroll. The Special Festival of Lights Limited Edition United States Postmark. East Light Theaters, Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. Festival of Lights Holiday Cruises on the Spirit of Peoria. And the Fine Felipe Ornament Hunt. So make sure to check out all of these events during the 2017 festival, but still to come this year. The Narrated Nativity. Enjoy the artistry and beauty of the inspiring scenes of this nativity. It features five realistic scenes. The original structures were created on plywood by local artists for the very first Festival of Lights in 1985. The Winter Wonderland, which is a 100% LED drive through the park. It's the Festival of Lights signature event, Felipe's Winter Wonderland, now through December 31st, which is also open Christmas Eve and Christmas night. So pile in the family, take them through our wonderful drive through electric park. Take a stroll through the lights of Felipe's Enchanted Forest, set in East Peoria's Levy District. Felipe's Enchanted Forest features the festival's 35-foot tall Christmas tree. The forest is open through December 31st. The Get Lit Run, the 16th annual Get Lit New Year's Eve Fun Run, which is at 11.50 p.m. Saturday, December 31st, it's a fun way to run in the new year. It's open to men, women, and children. This event is a non-competitive run or walk on a two-mile paved course through Felipe's Winter Wonderland drive through display. Remember to check out the festival's website at felipe.org, the City of East Peoria's Facebook page, or a copy of the East Peoria Chamber of Commerce's Festival Guide for details of all the events scheduled during the festival. Well, thanks for joining us for this year's telecast. We hope you enjoyed the parade. Roxy, thanks again. It's been another fun year working with you. Please have a safe and happy Christmas and holiday season. Thanks, Matt. It has been a great time. I look forward to next year. And we leave you tonight with scenes of the Festival of Lights.